With a reputation for excellence, gained over 25 years in over 30 countries, MFE Formwork is renowned for quality of product and concrete finish, experienced on-site technical support, and speed of construction. This doesn't just apply to high-rise buildings, but also single or double-storey landed housing. In this presentation, we will show the work cycle for the various trades to complete the concrete structure of a landed property in one day. For single-storey houses, with or without a concrete roof, the bases or working slabs can be prepared well in advance, and the vertical wall reinforcement can also be erected several houses in front of the actual formwork erection. With the wall reinforcement already in place, erection of MFE wall panels can begin next morning. Bulkheads to window and door openings are installed together with alignment whalers as per MFE formwork design. Door spaces are inserted at each doorway to ensure correct width is maintained. During the formwork erection process, first fix M&E will be completed in a timely manner. Walls greater than 3 meters in length will require push and pull props to control verticality of the wall form. Once all the elements have been erected, the formwork supervisor will inspect the works to ensure all assigned tasks have been completed correctly and the formwork is ready to receive concrete by mid-afternoon. Concrete is poured into the forms at a rate not exceeding 50 kN per meter squared and provided the pour is completed by 8 p.m. that night, the formwork will be ready to be opened the following morning. Remove push and pull props, including alignment whalers and door spaces, so formwork striking can commence. Formwork is dismantled in sequence and transferred to the next plot, where erection of the formwork can commence. As a result, the formwork is being struck on one plot and at the same time being erected on the adjoining one. This approach allows installation of the formwork to commence as it is being transferred. On the completion of the formwork erection on the second plot, concrete is poured in the afternoon and the work cycle repeats itself, one house daily using one set of MFE formwork. For two-storey link housing, it's recommended for this approach, each house consists of sufficient formwork for two houses being cast every second day. Basically, one house daily, one set of formwork for the ground floor and one set of formwork for the first floor. Ground wall reinforcement would be similar to the single-storey housing being erected several houses in front of the formwork erection. Wall formwork is installed with a pin and wedge process, including wall ties, together with bulkheads to windows and doors. Slab formwork installation will commence and should be completed by midday. This is followed by the placement of the first floor slab reinforcement together with first fix M&E. It's good practice to have all reinforcement prepared in advance to avoid any delay on the working level. Concrete pouring to commence by mid-afternoon and should be completed by 8 p.m. to achieve the required 12-hour setting time before striking the wall forms the next morning. Dismantling of wall formwork can commence. Transferring in the correct sequence assists the efficiency on the installation of the next plot. Wall formwork will commence including installing the wall ties progressively as the wall panels are being pinned and wedged together. During dismantling of wall formwork on ground floor, wall reinforcement can commence on the first floor. This is followed by installation of the wall formwork, including the gable peaks. As slab formwork is not required at roof level, alignment whalers are used to control alignment of the formwork. Push and pull props also positioned to control the verticality of the wall forms. Placement of the concrete can then commence. The first floor slab needs to achieve a concrete strength of 10 Newton per millimeter squared prior to removal of the soffit formwork, and this can be achieved on the second day, 36 hours after the placement of concrete. Slab formwork is removed and transferred for installation on plot 2. 
slab soffit for first floor to be installed. This follows the same procedure as plot 1, and already the workforce are becoming comfortable with the repetitive nature of the MFE formwork system. Remove wall formwork from the previous day's casting and transfer it to plot 2, first floor. Installation of wall reinforcement followed by the installation of the wall formwork, repeating the process as described on the first floor of plot 1. Repetition lies at the heart of the system's efficiency. With life expectancy of over 300 reuses, the project should offer volume to justify application. MFE Formwork, your aluminium formwork specialist for building success.